Hey, fifth graders, we're going to get started on this week's word study. And this week's word study, just like many weeks before, is studying pairs of words that have vowel alternation. But this week, we're specifically going to look at base words and they are derived words with suffixes A-T-I-O-N and P-T-I-O-N. So let's get started. First, let's look at a review from the last few weeks. Let's just look at two similar words. Say these two words out loud. Suffice and sufficient. Think about the vowel that sounds different in these, these two words. Did you say the I? I hope you did. In the first word, suffice, it sounds like a long I. But in the second word, sufficient, it sounds like a short I. So this I alternates from a long sound to a short sound. All right, now we're going to look at several pairs of words that add the suffixes that we just talked about. I would like you to grab your notebook, and as we go through each of these pairs of words, I'm going to have you write them down, say them out loud, and think about what sounds different, what vowel sounds different. So write down these two words and say them out loud. Exclaim and exclamation. I want you to think about what vowel sounds different and circle it in the two words. Did you circle the A? In exclaim, it's a long A, but in exclamation, it's that schwa sound, right? So it alternates from long to schwa. But I want you to notice a few more things. We said that we were going to be looking at base words that add the suffixes A-T-I-O-N and P-T-I-O-N. So this one adds the A-T-I-O-N, which changes this from a verb, exclaim, is an action. You can exclaim something to an exclamation, which is a loud saying. That is a noun, right? It changes it from a verb to a noun by adding that A-T-I-O-N. Also, I want you to notice one other spelling change. In exclaim, there was an A-I, but in exclamation, that I disappeared. So when you have that A-I, a lot of times when you add the A-T-I-O-N suffix, that I will disappear. And we said that this change was long to schwa. All right, let's look at another example. Write these two words in your notebook and then say them out loud and circle the vowel that you think sounds different. Assume and assumption. Did you circle the U? I hope so. In assume, it's the long U. But in assumption, it makes the uh sound. Now, this is a hard one because that uh sound can be a short U or it can be the schwa sound. But in this case, when we add this P-T-I-O-N suffix, it is the short U. So it changes, adding the P-T-I-O-N suffix, again, changes the word from assume is a verb to a noun. To assume something is to make a judgment. An assumption is an actual judgment. It's a thing. So it changes it from a verb to a noun, and it changes the U from a long to a short. All right, let's look at another example. Write down these two words. Circle the vowel that you think sounds different in the two words, and say them out loud. Then continue. Perceive and perception. Did you circle the E? I hope you did. In perceive, that's a long E, but in perce that's a short E. And again, it adds this suffix P-T-I-O-N. And again, I want you to notice the spelling change that to, to add the suffix P-T-I-O-N, we had to get rid of the I and the V and the E here. All three of these letters disappeared in order to add the suffix. And the change was again, a long E to a short E. All right, one more example, guys. Write down these two words. Say them out loud and think about what vowel sounds different and then circle it. Did you come up with the A? The words are proclaim and proclamation. Did you hear that A? Proclaim along a proclamation is a schwa sound. So it changed from long to schwa. And again, it adds the suffix A-T-I-O-N. So that suffix makes the um, this A changed from a long to a schwa sound. Also, again, a spelling change. This I had to disappear in order to add the suffix. And again, it changed from a noun, or excuse me, a verb to a noun. Have a great week doing this, fifth graders.